Hey guys, Ben Maddox here at Johnson RV out here enjoying some lovely weather. Come on out and enjoy it with us and check out this awesome 2008 Gulfstream Vista Cruiser. This is their version of a Class C on a Sprinter. Um, does not have a down bed, however, it does have a lot of sleeping and I'll show you how awesome it is inside, but I wanna take a quick walk around the outside so you can see how beautiful this coach is. It is in such good condition. You can see how nice the white gel coat looks still, no yellowing or discoloring. The decals, the stickers are still in great shape, no peeling or cracking. Uh, but first I wanna talk about the chassis. So it is built on your Sprinter chassis, diesel engine, three liter, six cylinder diesel engine. So it gets great gas mileage, it's very quiet, it's smooth, easy to handle, easy to drive, easy to park, and all in about 25 feet. So. Let's take a look at this as we walk around. We'll ignore the front door here. Big side view uh, mirrors here for easy visibility for your blind spots as you're driving down the road. Um, you can see the, the way these windows are designed, they have very big gasket, rubber gaskets around them. So it's great for insulation, keeping all that cold air out. Um, look at this big swing away door, which gives you lots of storage, which you don't get in a coach this size. This is very rare to have that much basement storage in a coach this small easy uh, slamming um, side view do or side doors as well so and the next one is going to be your generator so this is a uh, micro quiet propane running generator 3600 watts which is a lot for a coach this size and it's going to be quieter than your counterpart gas or diesel generators six gallon hot water heater there's actually some storage on the outside of this which means that you can actually take things along with you which you don't usually get in a coach that's under 25 feet uh, walking around the back side, you'll notice Gulfstream uses these fiberglass caps. The great thing about these fiberglass caps is you don't get those seams pulling apart or having to reseal all of those seams with caulk. Um, up above, you can see you've got a backup camera there for great visibility when you're backing up. 5,000 pound tow hitch with your wiring. Uh, moving around to the driver's side, your utilities are all going to be in, in one place, essentially. The great thing about this one, it has a traditional dump station, but it also has a macerator added to it as well, which makes dumping a lot quicker, simpler, faster, and cleaner. So a uh, holding tank here, this has actually got heating pads on it, so it's a heated holding tank, which means you're not going to have to worry about going into sub-zero or uh, freezing temperatures. Uh, easy access to all of your uh, tank valves as well for draining for uh, the wintertime. Uh, city water connection there, uh, moving around underneath the slide, you've got your 30 amp 110 shore power connection, uh, compartment here with your batteries in it, so you've got two shore power batteries and your chassis battery all in one simple place. Brand new batteries, easy to charge, easy to replace if you need to. Propane is going to be right here, so easy access to fill that up. And then obviously like all your sprinters, you've got access from both sides when you open up your driver's side door. Easy place to uh, fill up your diesel uh, fuel. The nice thing about having that closed is nobody can get into your fuel tank while you have it locked up. So let's go take a look at the inside of this 2008 Vista Cruiser. Hey guys, Ben Maddox here again for Johnson RV. We are now inside this gorgeous 2008 Gulfstream Vista Cruiser. These are such a popular model in this size because they're so small, but yet they're so livable because of this slide out. And even though this doesn't have your traditional down bed, you do have a lot of sleeping in here. So you have a couch that's a Davenport that turns into a jackknife sofa uh, that will lay down flat and give you enough sleeping area for a, like a full size or double size bed. Uh, the dinette also turns into a bed as well. So it's very functional and practical for everything else that you need, but it's a very quick, simple changeover just by flipping a latch that slides straight down into your bed. Um, we're gonna turn around here. We're gonna talk about the cab just a little bit. So one of the beauties of a Mercedes Sprinter cab or Dodge Sprinter cab is you have a lot more space to get around in and out. Um, this does have an integrated multimedia system and a separate backup camera as well. So a lot of nice safety features. Um, like I said, much quieter, smoother, easier to drive than your typical gas models like a Ford or a Chevy. Um, up above, you have this huge front fiberglass cap which gives you lots of uh, sleeping space up above. So you're definitely not lacking for permanent sleeping in a model like this. Um, entertainment, you're going to have your flat screen TV up above as well, right by your bunk, which you can swivel out so everybody can enjoy the big game. Um, you're definitely not lacking in storage either. Storage compartments all up above, here and here. Going into the galley too, lots of storage up above and down below. Flush mount uh, sink cover here, which can also work as a cutting board. So lots of galley space that's going to give you lots of prep area. Stainless steel sink 
residential faucet and sprayer there. Three burner propane stove, uh, convection microwave oven, which can also be used as, as a microwave. Residential thermostat, there's your slide out control. Um, turning on your, uh, your tank heater there, checking all your tank levels, turn on your water pump, turn on your generator. It's all in one simple, convenient place. Really nice big fridge and freezer for this size. This is a very nice size. Three-way as also, so propane, battery, and shore power. Um, nice big pantry here, which you don't typically get in a coach this size, but because of the configuration not having a down bed, this is what you benefit from. And the last thing you benefit from with this particular floor plan is you have all of this space in your bathroom. So look at how big this shower is. I'm gonna step inside. I'm five foot nine, but you can see I could easily be six foot five and have plenty of headspace in here because of that skylight. Um, and then nice vanity here with storage below and up above. And then look at all of this wardrobe space you've got in the back here. So plenty of room for your clothes. So a lot of great things to love about this 2008 Gulfstream Vista Cruiser. Um, but I would love to show it with you, show it to you in person. So come on out and take a drive to Johnson RV, just 30 miles east of Portland. Uh, when you come in, just make sure you ask for Ben.